Minasan Komama, Joshua Kitikaze here from Spring is Springing, Sapporo, Hokkaido, Japan. And this is not a DJ set. We're going to do an unboxing video for my new channel, Audio Ikebana Vinyl, which is a sister channel to Audio Ikebana, which is a channel mostly for my DJ set, some of my original material. And I'm really, really excited about Audio Ikebana Vinyl. It's a channel devoted to rare, rare gems, hidden gems, uh, a lot of really collectible um, house records, techno records, electro, really, really fun stuff. And we're going to do an unboxing. I've got four boxes here of uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous records. And I'm going to unbox those. But before we do that, I'm going to go very quickly through some of the exciting stuff that we've already put up on uh, Audio Ikebana Vinyl in the last week. And even before that, I got to send a shout out to my man Digital, DJ Digital in Detroit. Uh, really, really smoking hot um, electro, Detroit electro producer from Detroit, Michigan. And he has released on legendary Underground Resistance uh, records. He's affiliated with also equally legendary Aux 88. And he's got this new uh, EP out, the Electro Hop 2 EP on his label, uh, Trust. And it's, uh, I've got that upside down. It's an absolutely, absolutely smoking hot um, Electro record. And very quickly, I'm gonna play one or two little, little pieces from this. So you can hear what this sounds like. Um, I strongly encourage you, if you like, if you like Detroit Electro as much as I do, go to Digital's. Uh, he's got a band camp. Just Google it, DJ Digital uh, Detroit Electro. Uh, his band camp. He's he's got he's putting out so many good records. Uh, re-releases Metroplex, which is a legendary, legendary Detroit techno label. Um, some Underground Resistance re-releases uh, he's putting out this year. He's one of the few people that in, you know, these crazy, crazy pandemic times that is working really hard to have really, really good records coming up. So I really want to support him. So that's why I'm showing this record first before anything else. And this is what you can expect. Oh, I could listen to that all night long. I'll play one more little piece off of this. He's such a good guy. He's such a good guy too. Yeah, if you like if you like Detroit, if you like uh, future music out of Detroit, if you like electro, if you like techno, I strongly recommend uh, this EP. Electro Hop 2, DJ Digital on Trust. Thank you so much, my man, for sending that to me. And I'm really looking forward to putting that into an upcoming Northwind Transmission uh, DJ set. And let's have a quick look uh, what else we have going on. I want to get into this box stuff, but I have some stuff here that I have already unboxed. I did, I actually did one uh, unboxing video before this and I realized later when I was looking at the video, I was like, oh rad, my address, my address is all over that. So oops, uh, do that again. But I have some really, really beautiful stuff here that I'm really excited about. And the first thing I'm gonna give you a quick look at Look how beautiful this record is. GB presents the abstract eye. 
and GB is for gifted and blessed, and that is a moniker of, his name is Gabriel Reese Whitaker, and if I've got that wrong, if I've got the pronunciation wrong, I'm very, very sorry. Um, but we did a focus on his three aspects of one EP, which came out in 2014. And that's something that I would call a lost gem and a hidden gem. It didn't, uh, exist. If you, if you looked at it on Discogs, had no videos, um, you would not be able to hear it. You would not be able to experience it without, without actually laying hands on it, uh, as a collector like I do. And it's the most beautiful, that, that three aspects of one EP is so gorgeous. And as soon as I heard it, I had to have more. And I dug and I found uh, this, this beautiful, beautiful abstract eye EP, which I'm really excited about. And that came together with something equally wonderful. Um, if you are deep into techno, and house and electro, um, specifically techno. This is uh, the Black Dog Peel Sessions, John Peel Sessions. Um, amazing, amazing acid-oriented uh, techno music, which uh, this came about a week ago, and I cannot wait to get this up on the channel. Uh, what we do is we take really beautiful records like this, and what we're doing with Audio Ikebana Vinyl is to try and give um, people the experience of what it feels like to be a digger, to be uh, a record collector. And what we do is we take beautiful records like this, which have so much wonderful, wonderful, wonderful graphic design on them. And we try to really get a, a really HD photography look at that wonderful graphic design and then let you hear the record. And hopefully, if you really, really like it, then you go and buy it for yourself because that's the main thing that we want to do is support the artists. So that was, that, that was something really wonderful that came last week. And there's one more bag of absolute heaven that also came last week and I have to show it I just have to show it it's too good it's too good I'm too excited I'm too excited about this um I cannot believe this is there are three records uh in my entire life that I have harassed other DJs to try and get them to part ways with and I think uh, one, one was Erotic City, Prince Erotic City. I used to bug my man, uh, DJ Bellyfish in Victoria. He had a copy of it and he, he used to let me use it about 20 years ago. I used, to, I used to yoink that off of him and play that. Erotic City, uh, Deep Inside, which is a classic uh, house record. I used to bug my man, Tiger Dula, Patty Simpson tried to get his copy from him. And another one from my man, Icy Fresh, um, DJ Icy Fresh, Chris Fraser, uh, from Victoria, now in Vancouver. He, he used to do a show, uh, geez, this would be going back like 25 years, I think. We did a show in Victoria, which was not specifically devoted to ambient music. It was kind of like, ambient but also all sorts of out there um techno electro house music all all sorts of really amazing stuff and it was through chris that i first heard laurent garnier's legendary uh work acid eiffel and that is just one of the most legendary pieces of acid music ever. I, I would probably put it in the top three greatest pieces of acid house, acid techno of all time. And that's it right there. Uh, the Choice EP Acid Eiffel on Fragile. And that is, that, that's given me goosebumps just looking at it. I cannot wait uh, to put that on Audio Ikebana Vinyl. And what else came with that? 
Um, this is also equally, equally wonderful. Morgan Geist's uh, Environ One. On Audio Ikebana Vinyl, we featured uh, equally rare record, which is Environ 2. Um, and we posted, uh, we uploaded three pieces from that. And really, really wonderful stuff. I cannot wait also to get this Environ 1 by Morgan Geist. Uh, and what we're doing right now is I'm smack in the middle of diving into, I think, what is m probably my most favorite Detroit techno label, uh, which is super, super mysterious. It's super, it's, it's, it's everything that I love about techno. It's, it's got so many secrets to it. And it's this uh, right here. Let me find a really nice looking example of it. Red Planet. Here we go. Here's a, here's a very nice example red planet uh, and if you ask any uh fan any head of techno music particularly detroit techno where techno comes from originally uh what is red planet who is red planet most people will say that's mad mike banks and the reason that we're focusing on that now is because uh in the last couple days we've done a focus on another techno label from the UK called Ferox Records. And Ferox Records, I think, I would call um, the UK's greatest gift to underground dance music. I absolutely love that label, Ferox. And Ferox had a record by a virtual friend of mine, a guy that I've been connected with for a long time, Ian O'Brien. Ian O'Brien is an absolute legend just total legend in uh techno music and he is an absolute genius he's he's a wonderful guitar player uh he lives here he lives here in japan he's he's either in tokyo or chiba now and he's very um he's similar to me he teaches he teaches music to children which i think is absolutely wonderful and I put up his record, uh, Monkey Jazz, on Ferox, and one of the tracks was called Mad Mike Disease. And it's a very kind of on the nose reference to Mad Mike Banks, who is a original member of Underground Resistance, which is one of Detroit Techno's uh, most, is probably the number, it's, it's absolutely the number one most famous uh, unit from Detroit uh, and they're absolutely legendary just legendary and Mad Mike Banks he will deny he will completely I don't know what you're talking about if you go to uh, Mike Banks and you compliment him on Red Planet records uh, which are all all almost exclusively under the title The Martian Red Planet and if you go to Mike Banks and you say uh, your Martian stuff is amazing. It's just amazing. He'll say, thanks, I'll tell him, right? He he will absolutely deny any involvement. And that's what I love about Red Planet is its mysteriousness. Um, did Mike Banks make every single Red Planet record? Um, for example, one of the ones we just put up, which is Martian 44, uh, people will tell you that this was done by another good virtual friend of mine, uh, Los Hermanos Detroit, Gerald Mitchell, also a legend in techno and also house music. Um, and they will say Martian 44 is Gerald Mitchell. And you know, I could go and I could just ask Gerald, I could say, Gerald, did you, did you make that? Did you make that? And... I don't know if you'd tell me. And the thing is, I don't want to know. I don't want to know because I think that would ruin the the wonderful mystery. I, I don't want to know. It's it's like it's like having a it's like having a magician explain a magic trick to you. You're like, oh, okay, that's cool, but oh, there goes the mystique, right? So Red Planet is what we're focusing on right now on audio ikebana vinyl, and I'm really, really happy about that. I think we've got 
five records here. We've got five records that we're going through and they're all just wonderful. I would describe the sound of Red Planet records as though if you took Detroit Techno's finest, finest producers and combine it with Native American mysticism, that's what that sounds like. It's it's Detroit techno and tribal. It's it's absolutely wonderful music. I personally think I have a theory. I have a theory that Keith Tucker from from Ox eighty eight, maybe Mike Banks. I think they were sitting in the early nineties, and I think they were watching uh, the X Files, and I think they were watching some of those uh, Monster of the Week uh, X File, like what was it, the Skin Changer episode of X-Files where they focused on uh, some, some aspects of Native American mysticism. And I have a theory that that was kind of the, the origin point uh, for some of this Red Planet stuff. I can't prove that. It's just, it's just a hunch that I have, but yeah. So I think it's time to get into some unboxing. And that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to move this out of the way. That's a, uh, it's a very old Kenny Larkin record, which we are going to be also uploading next week on, on Audio Ikebana Vinyl. But here, carefully with my shipping address removed off of it, we've got some things to unbox here. Not a whole lot of stuff. I think the biggest one is this here, and I'm pretty certain I know what's in here, which is... Uh, my most beloved uh, label uh, of house music is from Chicago and it's called Prescription Underground. And it is, uh, when it started in 93 to 96, it was run, it was owned and run by uh, genius producers, Ron Trent and Shay Demir. And Shay Demir, both of those guys, uh, I adore, I just adore their music. And I have been very lucky uh, to play, I've never played with Ron, but I have DJed with Shay at least twice in Vancouver at the Summer Love Festival. I've seen him play in Tokyo once and I've seen him play not um at summer love i saw him at richards on richards i think at a night called rehab uh many 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 years ago 25 years ago their music is is just the the finest the absolute finest uh house music to me and that label prescription underground um is is just absolutely magical to me and what i've done is I have started, I have two collections. I have my record collection here in Japan and I have my other record collection for from my many, many years of DJing and getting records, uh, collecting records in Canada. And that is where my most treasured record is, which is Prescription 103 which is made by Ron Trent and Shay Demir. And some people will call it um, Morning Factory. I simply call it Prescription 103. They have a wonderful, wonderful story um, about how they made that record. And the story goes, it, I might, this might be completely wrong, but the story that I have heard is that when they were making that record, um, Ron and Shay were in the studio in Chicago that was a very, very old warehouse kind of studio. And the story goes that in during the times of prohibition, it was a brothel. And during one very stormy uh, lightning, lightning and thunder, thunder and lightning night, they were working on this track and they were hungry. They, they, they went to the convenience store to get some food. And when they came back, they played back what they were working on and they heard this ghostly, ghostly, sexy, sexy voice, uh, which you will hear in Prescription 103. And it sounds it sounds like uh, a lady of the night um, 
selling her wares, but that is my number one most treasured record. Ron Trent is beloved not only in um, house music, but also techno, because when he was 14, here we go, unboxing this uh, Altered States, Ron Trent, Altered States. That was the first thing that he did. And this is on Prescription Classics. Prescription Underground has re-released some of uh, their most uh, wonderful work on, on uh, reissue. And that's what that is. That is the uh, original plates of Altered States. Amazing stuff. What else do we have here? We're getting into the unboxing now. Um, I fight for what I believe. That's another uh, Ron Trent record. That's not Prescription Underground, but that is Ron Trent. And here we have, I immediately thought of uh, Larry Hurd's um, classic Deep House track, um, Kids at Play, or I think it might be Children at Play, Kids at Play. But look at, look at how gorgeous this record is. Uh, Ron Trent, Kids at Play. And that is, I, I think that calls to mind some of his earliest um, Altered State stuff. It's really, really, really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. It's not, it, it's, uh, it's, I'm not going to call it techno, but it definitely does have a certain uh, techno element. What else do we have here? Uh, there we go. Shade Amir featuring Leroy Burgess. Uh, that is a gor Your Love Lifted Me Up. Gorgeous, gorgeous record by Shade Amir. Those guys, I cannot uh, over overstate my love for everything that they do. And this is another Ron Trent record. Uh, Dream On Baby, Ron Trent remixes. So this box is full of uh, mostly Ron Trent and a little bit of Shade Amir. And I'm going to be very excited to be getting uh, this up on Audio Ikebana Vinyl. What's next? Uh, single record in this one. And this is, oh, look what we have here. I know what this is. Joey Anderson. Uh, Joey Anderson is a UK-based uh, amazing house techno acid house um deep 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 stuff producer and i have focused i have played a lot of his stuff in my northwind transmission dj sets and this was one record that was missing for me his 1974 ep and that is this is on deck uh deck mental deck mental i mean i i don't know if i'm saying that right but I'm going to say deck mental. Um, 1974 EP. That's what's in that box. Deep, deep, deep uh, acid. Acid influence. Acid house, uh, I guess you would call it. Stick this over here. Two more to go. Let's get into this one. What is in here? I have no idea, actually, what's in this one. This is going to be a surprise. And... I think we have a couple records in here. What do we have? Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is my number one. It's We have a couple of uh, more Joey Andersons in here. And I think uh, one of his favorite uh, works of mine is Above the Cherry Moon, which, you know, having something called Audio Ikebana, and a record like this, Above the Cherry Moon, absolutely in every way is what I would define Audio Ikebana as being. It's, it's, it's very deliberate, careful, disciplined use, sparse, sparse, but just really, really, really deep sounds. That is an absolutely wonderful record. And this is another one of his, uh, his, Fall off face EP. So there we go. We've got we've got a handful of some really 
amazing uh, Joey Anderson music. And I can see at the bottom here is this wonderful thing. This is, um, this is Prescription Underground. This is another prescription and this is a reissue of, I really wanted to get the original, which I was unable to lay my hands on, um, of Be My, Be My Friend, Noni. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Prescription Underground record. Uh, it's got Terrence FM on it doing some serious, serious vocal work. That is a gorgeous record. One more box. What is in there? I think I know. I think I know what's in there. And that, I think what we have in this final box here is from another of my most beloved Chicago house labels. And very different from Prescription Underground, mostly different. This is R&R &R Relief Records. And this is from one of my favorite, favorite artists on R&R. &R. Joe Lewis, this is the Separate Ways EP. This is some very, very, very serious Chicago house music. Um, beautiful, rough, raw, dirty, 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 dirty uh, Chicago house music. And Relief Records is Chicago House, Chicago Techno, Boo Williams, Glenn Underground uh, have done some of their best work on this label. Lester Fitzpatrick, uh, probably my number one most favorite relief records is by DJ Sneak, his Blue Funk 3 EP, which is over here. And I cannot wait on Audio Ikebana Vinyl to do our relief records focus. But right now, we're doing Detroit, we're doing Red Planet, and I'm really excited about that. We're about halfway through that. I'm gonna put a focus on three of those records, and I hope you guys really enjoy uh, the music that we're sharing with you. All of this stuff is very, very, very hard to find, and I absolutely adore hunting these records down uh, taking very loving photos of them, sharing them with you, and giving you guys a little bit of what it feels like to to do this, to get your hands on, on this, because this is everything to me. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, thanks. Thanks for listening to me talk about records. See you later, alligators.